In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to design a Valentine flyer using Adobe Photoshop. So guys, if you are old yet, thanks. And if you are new here, please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified anytime I upload a new video. So without any further ado, let's get started. I'm using A5 paper size and my resolution is 300. So now we are going to get started with our design. And these are the resources I'm going to use. After importing this one, then click OK to apply it. Go back to your resource file and import this image. Click OK. Go to your filter, select blur, Gaussian blur, then make it 5.6 percent and you click ok so there's no much so it's okay like this now we are going to import this color field here then you click ok so after that then we are going back to import this heart design here now we are going to drag it up then you position it over there. All right. Then we are going to import this image. We are going to leave it at the center here. So now we are going to import our design here. So I created this. Make sure that you remove all the background in the resource file I'm going to give you in the description. So then you scale it out. You click OK to apply it. Increase the size more. OK. Then go back again. And we are going to bring this one. Drag it over here. Then you position it around here. Scale it out. Then I reposition it. Something like this. Then drag it up. Arrange it properly. Okay. Then we are going to bring this one. You drag it over here. Then scale it out. Then we are going to bring it backward. Then adjust the size. Then take it back. Okay, like this is okay. Then we are going to change the blending mode to linear lights. Also, this one change the blending mode to linear lights. Then we have something like this. So now we are going to import this one. Then drag it and position it here. Increase the size. So ensure you remove all the background. Okay. So then we are going back to our test. So here is our test. And I'm going to drag it. Then you position it over here. Now increase the size by scaling it. So okay like this. Then you click OK to apply it. Now hold your shift key while you select this all the test. Then apply center alignment to centralize it. All right, something like this. You can see it very well. Okay. And over here is the font I use in this tutorial. Then, and the rest here are the tests used in that tutorial.
Then I'm going to select my test and control plus V to paste. Then highlight this one. Go to your test and over here, then we apply superscript to raise it up. So, and I'm going to copy this font, then paste it. So, to apply on it. Now we are going to increase the size and drag it over here. All right. Then select your test tool and change the font color to red. Then we are going to duplicate the test. Control plus J to duplicate. Drag it down. Select your test tool. Then we are going to highlight it. Control plus A to highlight. Then copy this one. Control plus C to copy. Control plus V to paste. Okay. Now make it bold. Then go to your test property and we are going to close the gap by minus 60%. Something like this. Okay. Now reposition it properly and increase the size. Also increase the size of this one. Then we are going to align this one with the first letter. Okay. Then use your arrow key then to adjust it. Now we are going to reduce the size of this one. Something like this. Then select the test. Hold your shift key while you select it. Use your arrow key then to adjust it. Now increase the size. All right. So now select the image and change the blending dim mode to luminosity. So that is all about this tutorial. So thank you for watching. And if you like this video, please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification. Don't forget to share. And if you need any of my flyer, then you can go to my Fiverr account. Then I make your order. Then also you can register a Fiverr account. Follow the link in the description. Thank you so much.